Today's learning objective is given a scale drawing of a geometric figure, I can reproduce the drawing using a different scale. We're going to try some examples that involve that. You are planning a neighborhood. The rectangle shown is a scale drawing of the roof of a rectangular building. You used a scale of 2 inches equals 75 feet. What would be the dimensions of the roof in your drawing if you used a scale of 1 inch equals 100 feet? Okay, anytime they're asking us to reproduce a drawing with a different scale, step one is use the original scale to find the actual length and width. So you're going to want to make sure you write that down. You're going to always use the original scale to find the actual length and width, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take a look at our original scale, the length, and the width they give us, and we're going to use that information to find the actual length and width. This is just what we did when we were finding the actual area. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to always do our drawing over actual. I'm going to use the scale I was given to find the actual length to start. The scale I was given was 2 inches is 75 feet. Now, you can either simplify this down, which is what you know I normally like to do. I normally like to find a quote-unquote unit rate. So what I would do is i do 2 divided by 2 is 1, 75 divided by 2, I'd pick up my calculator, and I'd find that that's 37.5. So my scale is 1 inch is 37.5 feet or 2 inches is 75 feet. Now I use that to find the actual length. So I take the length they give me in inches, and I'll find the actual length of that roof in feet. So the length they give me in inches is 8 inches. So then I look here and I say, oh, 1 times 8 is 8. What does that mean I need to do with the 37.5? I need to also multiply that by 8. So you're going to multiply 37.5 by 8, and you'll come up with 300 feet for the actual length of that building. There's lots of ways to go about this. So if you did it a different way and you still came up with 300 feet for the length, you're good to go. Now I'm going to use the scale I was given to find the actual width. So I do drawing over actual. Again, I broke it down to say 1 inch is the same as 37.5 feet on the actual roof. The width that I'm given on my drawing is 6 inches, and I'm wondering what that would be in terms of feet on my actual roof. Like, say, how do I get from 1 to 6? Oh, I multiply the numerator by 6. So what should I do in the denominator? Multiply that by 6. And 37.5 times 6 is 37.5 times 6. Ah, <laughs> 37.5 times 6, sorry, trying to use my calculator, 225 feet. So I now know the actual width of the roof is 225 feet. Again, if you had another method to get there, absolutely, you use the method you're most comfortable with. Now here's step two. Once you've found the actual length and actual width, you'll use that and the new scale to figure out how to reproduce the drawing. So now you're going to use the actual length and width you came up with along with the new scale. They'll tell you the new scale they want you to use in order to create the new scale drawing. Sorry, I jumped a slide, last viewed. Sorry about that. All right, 
So now I know I want to do drawing over actual. They give me a new scale they want me to use. I'm going to use that new scale. So I'm going to use my new scale. And I'm going to say one inch is 100 feet. I'm then going to use my actual length and my actual width. I'm going to start with my actual length. It's important that you use the actual that you found. So that's 300 feet for the length of the actual. And I'm trying to figure out how many inches that will be on the new drawing. How do I get from 100 to 300? I multiply by 3. Then I look in the numerator. How do, what do I need to do now in the numerator? Well, if I multiply the denominator by 3, I also multiply the numerator by 3. 1 times 3 is 3 inches. So now I know in my new drawing, the length is going to be 3 inches. Now I have to worry about the width. So drawing over actual, I'm going to use my new scale again, which is 1 inch is 100 feet. I'm going to say, what was my actual width? because I'll need to use that actual width I found in step one. The actual width I found in step one was 225 feet. And that will give me how many inches that will be in my new scale drawing. So how do I get from 100 to 225? Well, I multiply by 2.25. If I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2.25, I multiply the numerator by 2.25. 1 times 2.25 is 2.25 inches. They asked us to find the dimensions of the new drawing. It will be 3 inches by 2.25 inches. So you're going to see that new drawing will be a similar rectangle to the drawing that we started with, except it's going to be smaller. Now it's going to be 3 inches instead of 8 inches by 2.25 inches instead of 6 inches. So we've just shrunk it down a bit more. Maybe you need it to fit more items on your scale drawing of your neighborhood, so you're shrinking everything down to fit on the page. Let's try another example. Again, if you need the video pause to be able to make sure you've written all this down, you just go ahead and raise your hand, ask that the substitute pause the video, and you'll be able to get this information down. Let's try another example. If you're making a map of the United States, the map below uses a scale of 1 centimeter equals 100 miles. You want to use a scale of 2 centimeters equals 125 miles. What will be the dimensions of Kansas on the new map? Asking for the dimensions just means asking for the length and the width. Anytime they're asking you to reproduce a scale drawing with a new scale, step one is you always use the original scale to find the actual length and width, the actual dimensions, and then we'll then go from there using the new scale. So we're going to use our original scale. Our original scale is 1 centimeter equals 100 miles. We're going to do our drawing over actual. We're going to use our original scale. Our original scale was 1 centimeter is 100 miles. Then we're going to look at our map. I'm going to just choose to find the actual length first. So I look on my map and I say, okay, I'm going to call this the length. On my map, the length is 4 centimeters. Drawing went on top. The centimeters went on top. So I'm going to put my 4 on top. Then I just say, how do I get from 1 to 4? Oh, I multiply 1 by 4. What do I then need to do with the 100 in the denominator? I need to also multiply that by 4. 100 times 4 would be 400 miles. So I have to tell you the actual length of Kansas is 400 miles. Now I'm going to find the actual width of Kansas. So I'm going to use my original scale. I'm going to do my drawing over actual. I know it's 1 centimeter is 100 miles. Now I want to find my actual width. So I take a look in my drawing and I say, what's the width in my drawing? The width in my drawing is 2.1 centimeters. I put the centimeters on top, the drawing on top, so that, that's what goes on top. 
on the bottom, I'm looking for how many miles that will be. So I focus on the numerators. I know something about both numerators. 1 times 2.1 is 2.1 centimeters. So then I have to multiply 100 by 2.1 and I'll get 210 miles. So the actual width of Kansas is 210 miles. And I say, well, that makes sense. 2.1 is about half of 4. 210 is about half of 400. So now that we have our actual length and our actual width for Kansas, we will use that actual length and width, use the actual dimensions, which is your actual length and width, and the new scale to create the new drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our drawing over actual. Now we're going to be using our new scale, whatever the new scale is going to be. So our new scale, they say 2 centimeters is 125 miles. 2 centimeters is 125 miles. And I know I want to use now my actual length. So for my actual length, I can either break this down into one per something, or I can just convert and say, okay, I need to get to 400 miles. I'll do it this way just to give you another option. Then I have to say 125 times what is 400? Well, in order to do that, off to the side, I just in my calculator can do 400 divided by 125, or those of you who like to use longhand, do that. But 400 divided by 125 is 3.2. That says I'll multiply the denominator by 3.2. Therefore, I must also multiply the numerator by 3.2. 2 times 3.2. This is 6.4 centimeters. So the length on my new drawing will be 6.4 centimeters. I'm going to do the same for the width. Drawing over actual. Again, I'm going to use my new scale. 2 centimeters is 125 miles. Then I say, what was the actual length of, Can or the actual width of Kansas? The actual width of Kansas was 210 miles. So now I got to say 125 times what is 210? Well, off to the side, I just do 210 divided by 125. You can do longhand or on your calculator. 210 divided by 125 is actually 1.68. So that tells me I multiply the numerator and denominator by 1.68. 2 times 1.68 is 3.36. That's 3.36 centimeters. So our new drawing is actually larger than our original. The original was 4 by 2.1. Our new drawing, the dimensions of our new drawing is 6.4 by 3.36 centimeters. So we've blown it up just a little bit. What I need you to make sure you're doing now is you need to take your area quiz. Right on the back of your area quiz is the exit slip for changing scale. If you finish that early, you quietly move on to your homework. Do not disturb other students. Everyone's going to be taking a quiz. Please make sure if you need a little more time to copy this down, just let the sub know that before you take your quiz. Have a good day.